Hi guys. So I had an email from Urban Expressions telling me that the money off code that I had from them was going to expire soon. So I wanted to just remind you guys if you did want to purchase one to get in quickly because it expires this Wednesday. So I'll put all the dates and information and code and how much you'll get off below. But I thought to go along with that reminder, I would film a what's in the bag with my, what's this bag called again? I'll write it around here somewhere. What the hell is it called? Anyway, um, I'm going to do a what's in my bag with this tiny little one. A few of you guys had asked about it because I'd mentioned a few times that I was able to cram my whole life in it. So let's just do it. First thing is my phone. It's the iPhone 6 Plus with the gold-ish back. Has anyone else noticed that their back has not stayed as gold? Um, and I don't have a case on it right now, which is very risky of myself. This is kind of obnoxious, but it does help me remember to take my pill and any supplements that I might be taking at that time. So um, I got this on Hope Look, I think, so I don't think that they're still on there anymore. But it's just a cute little pill case. Um, and because it's brightly coloured and obnoxious, it reminds me to take them when I see it. Next is the um, mini Diamond Cell Nail File from Sephora. I do have a full size one of these, I just keep this little baby one in my bag. Oh, this is a really odd selection of things. The next thing is a Pelican um, SD card case. There's only two in there right now, but mostly I got this because we are going to be using my camera for my friend Andy's wedding and I wanted to make sure I had somewhere safe to keep everything and keep it organised. Because it has been kind of summery and um, I've wanted to kind of treat my skin differently, I've been using the Osha C Vitamin Boost Spray a lot lately. Um, I just... I don't know what it is about their products, it's something to do with like the sea salt in them, but um, my skin just like thrives on their products. So this is a really nice one um, either to set your makeup with, if you just need like a little refresh in the day, or if you think you might have had a little bit of sun damage, this is really soothing um, and it's going to help your skin kind of um, heal a bit better. So yeah, love this. And it is glass and I do throw my bag around and I have yet to break it, so that's a good sign. This is my um, Old Faithful H&M case with my charger pack thing in it, which is huge, but it has many, many chargers in it, so I'd rather have the big one. Next, I have my mini hand food from Soap & Glory. This is my favourite um, hand cream right now, and they were nice enough to send me a little baby one, so there's that. I also have in here my wallet from Urban Expressions again. Um, I'll put, I'll list all of the information below because I can't remember the names of these offhand, but, um, and I also have one of the Youngblood, uh, lip glosses in here, and this is in, what colour is this? Revealed. It's just a really nice kind of ultra sparkly peach, it doesn't show up very obvious on your lips, but it makes them look so, like, luscious and plump. Um, I have a Tide pen in here. I have a, uh, pair of sunglasses, these are from... I have no memory today. Um, I actually didn't sleep at all last night, so that might be why. Zero UV. So um, they're just kind of like a matte, um, very simple sunglasses. And they're like about $10, just like everything else on there. So we also have a uh, American Apparel scrunchie. This is because if I am out on a boat or in the lake, my hair texture gets so raggedy that I literally cannot even run my fingers through it. So I just have to kind of plop, plop it up on top with this and then put a ton of conditioner when I get home. I have what feels like one wet wipe left. I have this cute little floral necklace, which was from Bloom Boutique, I think. Um, I'll link all their stuff below, but very cute. I've got my uh, Zalatol Clear Nasal Care Spray. Um, this is just like a saline nasal spray, but it has um, Xylitol in it, which is great for your kind of sinus ear stuff. Really like that, especially when I'm traveling. I cannot go on a long haul flight without a nasal spray anymore because I instantly feel the dryness like in the back of my nose and throat. And I'm pretty sure that's how I get sick every time. So this is really a lifesaver. I have a little tiny pod. This is from um, Squeeze Pods. They make individual um, travel size products of, uh, and they're all vegan, of um, lotion, hand sanitizer, um, shampoo, cleanser, everything you can ever think of comes in tiny little pods. So you can just chuck a few in your bag and you're good to go. Um, so I just have one of their hand sanitizers in there. 
I've got the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation. This is in... That's just the sponge. This is in medium 57. Um, I don't think that the colours make any sense between the foundation colours, like the powder and the liquid. Um, so definitely, I think that this is when you really want to go into the store and try. Or really do your research and look for swatches online. Because um, I don't think I would have been able to pick this out online. And then I have the, this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Brush. I really like this to um, touch up makeup, like use that powder with, just because you can kind of swipe down your nose and across your T-zone and you're done and it's really quick and simple. I have the Youngblood Lip Liner in Pout. This is a really pretty nude. Um, I'm actually going to review all of their products that I have because I've really been impressed so far and they're kind of like a different company than I've ever used before. Um, something everyone should have in the summer is the Haro uh, Sun Balm, this is SPF 15 Tangerine Chamomile Lip Balm. Don't forget your lips. I've got the Harvey Prince Hello Perfume. I'm really a big fan of all of his ones I've tried really. This one's nice because it's like very fresh. It reminds me a bit of a Clinique one maybe. I Do they have one called Hello? I think it reminds me of that. Is it not Hello? Something else? I don't know. Anyway, very fresh. Light, non-offensive, great little perfume. Um, I also have my uh, breathalyzer um, because why not? I've got this ring that I got from market.com with the chain. You will see this one if you watch my jewellery lookbook. I'll link it below if you want to have a better look. Wouldn't have known that was in there if I hadn't just dug around in the corners. And I think that is it. So as you can see, it is a little tiny mini baby, but I thought, fat? As if fat was like the past participle fit. <clears throat> as you can see, it's tiny, but I did manage to fit all of that stuff in there and I've been packing it to the brim and traveling with it. So um, I would say I really put it through the test. My favorite thing about it is that even though it is tiny, it opens up the entire way and it has these side bits in so that you're not going to have stuff spill out. So um, really well thought through, very well made. I think it looks a bit like an Alexander Wang bag and um, I'm really loving it. So if you want to get your own or anything else from them, definitely check out that link I'll put down below. If you have bought anything using that code, tag me in it because I want to see what you guys got too. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.